Hi, this is Dr. Doug Smale with CDocs.com, and today's tip of the day video is on using PRF for implant surgery. And obviously the first step in using PRF for any surgery is to get the blood draw. So we use the antecubital vein whenever we can, and we draw two tubes of blood. And obviously the next thing is you want to put that in the centrifuge and spin that. Usually it's about 10-15 minutes. So the first thing you want to do is realize that we got to get rid of the red blood cells. They're at the bottom. So we get the white blood cells and the platelets at the top. And that's what we use. So we take that clot off, leaving the white red blood cells at the bottom, and then we compress it and we get these membranes. And these membranes are wonderful. So the first thing you do is you can take a piece of membrane and cut it up and that lets a lot of that water out and you can use it to hydrate your bone graft. Now you can also take a small piece, put it up, especially here where I'm doing a sinus bump, and as an interpositional piece to go ahead and protect the bone graft below and protect the sinus membrane above. Then you use that and then once you're done with the bone graft, you put some PRF over the top of that and then close the gingiva over and you get great healing with that. Another use for it is to go ahead and use the so-called poncho technique. You put a hole in a little piece of membrane, you put your healing cuff right through, you can see the threads coming through, and you can see why they get the name poncho, and then you take that whole thing and screw that into the implant at the end. And you put one little stay suture to hold the excess PRF membrane, and you're all set. So I hope this has really shown you some different ways to use PRF in implant surgery, and we'll see you back on cdocs.com for more videos.